Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to Need for Speed Payback. Now this is the brand new Alfa Romeo Giulia from the brand new DLC. So in this video we are going to be taking this thing from stock to a massive crazy wide body with a huge wing. We're going to be drifting it in the mountains. Uh, this is a drift type car so make sure you stay tuned for the following video and let's go ahead and get right into it. So driving around in the Alfa Giulia in drift spec, of course, is really, really fun. I really like this car. I've always liked the way this car looks, and honestly, like, a lot of people have been going straight to the, uh, the Range Rover SVR, and to be honest, like, I was more interested to drive this. I was genuinely more interested to drive this, add one of these to my garage. It's the first one that I went and tried out, like, literally the first car in the pack that I went and picked up. Now, with that being said, with that being said, I am excited to drive the SVR for sure, and also the um, the Colorado. The Colorado is going to be fun. I mean, I don't know how the Colorado couldn't be fun. It's a freaking you know off road truck. But at the end of the day, no, this was my this was kind of like my go to car for this pack because I love the Alfa Romeo Giulia in real life. Um, I just I love the way they look. I love the way they sound. Uh, I've, I haven't driven one, so I can't really comment on how they drive in real life, but I'm not sure about their reliability. We'll have to see the long-term effects of that, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this car into the garage and start customizing the thing because, man, it is actually really fun to drift up here in the, in, in the hills. It really is. So let's go and pull up that map and jump back to the garage real quick because it is time to get some visual... Visual stuff done on this car. Now, when I say get some visual stuff done, I mean like fully customize the thing, or at least customize it to the most that we, uh, the most of, of an ability that we can. So let's get it into the garage real quick, and let's go to visual customization. So let's see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> That, I mean, I'm not too concerned about the front grille. That is ugly. I, I, I'm, uh, mm, that's all right. That's cool. I think I might, mm. God, I'm not sure. I like this. I like this. It's got, like, brake ducts, and I, I know a lot of people may be iffy on that one, but, like, like I said, it's got brake ducts, it's got some functional, you know, it's got some functional venting and stuff like that, and it's got a tow hook. I am gonna go with that one. Like, ooh, you do, like, an air dam. That's cool. And then you got your general selection of splitters. I kind of like that air dam. It's different. It's not normal. It's very different, and I kind of dig it, but I think we may end up with a splitter on this one. Yeah. I was going to say, we're probably going to end up with a splitter on this car. They, ooh, 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 yes. Yes. Let's see. Fender-wise, so we can do, like, an Alchemist Fender. We can do Need for Speed Fender, which that's a lot more of a bolt-on Rocket Bunny style. We could do, oh, that is full race car. I kind of want to do the more Rocket Bunny style one, though, because I feel like it's a little bit more, like, with this, I'm kind of going for the look of a clean street car. And so we can do GT3 mirrors, or we can do Fender mirrors. I mean... It's a new car, so fender mirrors on a new car look kind of weird, but it might be able to pull them off. I don't know. I'll have to see how they grow on me. Yeah, we're going to go with the uh, the Need for Speed ones again, the more Rocket Bunny style ones. Tail light wise, I mean, we're going to, yeah, you may as well just smoke them out. And wing wise, now, ooh, I like that. I like that too. Uh, eh, that's kind of eh. That's cool, but it's too small. That's weird, and then and then you get your proper, like, APR GT wings and stuff like that, and then your, um, which, that looks more like a Voltex than an APR, but, oh my god! Oh boy! Oh boy, that's full-on, like, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous, that's nutty. It's not really a chassis mount, it's like a trunk mount that mounts in a weird place, unless those, you know, unless those plates that go into the back of the trunk lid actually pass through the trunk into a proper, you know, chassis mount system, but this is not realistic. This is Need for Speed, so we don't really need to think about that. So let's see. Rear bumper-wise, I mean, a lot of these bumpers look really busy. I like... I like this one, actually. I think the others look, like I said, soup. Well, this one looks good. Th that one is, like, the least busy while still kind of looking sort of cool. Let's see. God, the diffuser selection is ridiculous. Well, what is that? All right. Um, I'm really in. Yeah, I'm really into that one. That one's nuts. It looks so good, though. 
exhausts. Now, oh, this is where it gets so good. I had no Bosu pipes, though. I love those titanium, like, turndown tips. My god, they look good. All right, wheel-wise. Now, again, we've got some new wheels in here. Like, for example, these 3SDM wheels. These, oh my god, you know, like, oh, even these Cosmos wheels look so good. Like, the 1552s, and they're all just categorized so simply that, oh man. Oh, this is going to need something like with a modern, modern yet classic style. Oh, dude, these, even the HREs, man, they look so, so badass on this car. Let's see, those look nuts. God, I don't even know what to pick, man. Like, I think I'm going to go with these. Yeah, those look insane. I'm going to do those on the front, too, because those HREs look absolutely insane. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Show me my wheels. Oh, dude. And I'm not even going to make them any bigger. They just look perfect as they are. They, oh, we could do the barrel color. I mean, hmm. Let's see. I almost want to do something, like, kind of different, but... Let's see how that looks. I mean, it's it's very, it's kind of understated. It's not like, it doesn't jump out at you in, in terms of, like, of color. But I like it. It's kind of like a hint of something, you know, something different. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, those are total, like, touring car. That is insane, dude. That's freaking crazy. I love the way this car looks now. Let's see. Hmm. All the way down. Little bit more camber in the rear, a little bit more in the front. I mean, it's already crazy since it's drift spec, so you're not really having to add much. Like, my god, no, I don't need to do that. There, edit wrap. Thank you. All right, whoa, whoa, red might be the go to with this car. I don't know. There's like, I mean, I know there's a lot of options, but sheesh, that looks so insane. That's just like. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, no, please. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out what to go with because they all look so, so dang good. Let's see. Brightness up. Metallic up. Mm, clear coat on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know if I want to do, like, let's see, save changes, yes, that's fine, I'll, oh god, alright, I'll just make a new one, that's fine, but yeah, no, that's insane, I don't even, it doesn't even need any stickers, man, like, look at that, it doesn't even need any stickers, it looks so damn good, like, what do you even, wow, just wow. I mean, <laughs> I'm just looking at this thing right now, man, and I'm like, whoo, that's insane. All right, let's see. Underglow, red wave, turquoise, green, blue, purple, violet. I mean, oh, the turquoise could go with the wheels, but I think the red wave is going to be, the red wave is going to be the thing here. Nitrous color, rainbow nitrous, orange nitrous, eh. I'd screw it. It's a rainbow nitrous. Tire smoke. Oh, gosh. Purple. This thing is going to be all over the map, but I do not care. And we'll probably... Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably... We'll mess with the rest of it later. But, man. All right. I want to take this thing out and do some actual driving with it because... Like, I don't even care that we haven't really upgraded the performance. I just wanted to see... Because it slides very, very well, you know, especially in the tight stuff on its own already as it is. I wanted to see what this thing looked like once it was built. And my god. I just want to go into photo mode real quick and actually like look around it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. What a car. I mean, what a kit. Like, jeez. All right. 
for without any more rambling, we're heading for the mountains because it's time to slide this thing. Oh, nope, that's not what I... Ooh, actually, drift angle. More, please. More, please. Ah, no! Oh, my God, we've already freaking hit something. Action camera. Holy crap! All right, bumper camera, hood camera, near camera. That's what I want. God, the rainbow nitrous is hilarious. It's absolutely freaking hilarious. I'm really not caring about this speed zone. I'm not caring about it at all. Just give me some tight corners. I want to slide. That's literally all I want to do with this car right now. That's seriously all I want to do with it. It's just super smooth. And, like, even without any upgrades, like, from the performance shop, it is literally just stupidly smooth to drive. You can even just kind of flick it around back and forth, transition it. Like, it's, it's silly smooth. And you know what? It's a blast. It's, it's just a blast. I love the way it looks. I, whoa, hi. Yeah, I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I have such a thing for these cars. I just, I just get all like mildly giddy when I see one in real life and the same effect sort of happened when I found out they were coming into the game and when this thing showed up in the game I was like oh yes oh yes I'm all over it like I need it in my life now I'm not even really gonna care about that like about that part that it wants me to go find or the fact that we're not going fast enough to get that speed trap I just want to like I just want to drive this thing and enjoy it. God, it's so smooth to drift. It just Oh, thanks for that. It's just so nice though. You know, we could probably throw a couple upgrades on it. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt, that's for sure. All right, let's see. Gearbox. Like we can do, we can do a couple things. We'll do that. We'll do, we'll do that. And honestly, like, with a couple, just with a couple upgrades, this thing gets woken up like mad, I bet you. Okay, yeah, it woke up. It woke up a good bit. <laughs> it already, it already holds slides better, which is hilarious. Like, we, and we didn't even add that much power, but, like, this thing gets woken up easily. I need to, see, that's the thing, is I haven't really been playing this game much lately. So, when you try to go into the performance shop, you're like, oh, yeah, I haven't been playing this game much. And you're, that, that, that's kind of reflected. So, with that being said, oh, boy. Oh, wow, I just completely screwed that up. That was so bad. That was, like, the worst corner I've done in this entire video. That was terrible. Like, and I'm not even going to sugarcoat that. That was just, that was just so bad. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I, my, my objective was not taking out all those signs, but you know what? Hey, plus one for, uh, plus one for extra objectives. I don't know. He, <laughs> oh. Wow, this was crap. Okay. I'm going to have to come back down the hill because this run was just so bad. I need to fix it. Oh, there we go. Ooh, without going off the edge. Okay, yeah. See, that's the other thing, too, is, like, when you realize the multipliers are, like, right behind where a traffic car is, that makes things mildly difficult. I mean, I'm sure we'll get the 30,000 that we need. But, like, we need to do better than that. I mean, I, I, I expect myself to, to put in a better score than something like that. Just hold that score, or, well, hold the multiplier. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Never mind, I guess. Okay, I'm still going to drift back down and try to do it better. There we go. That that was like that was a ridiculous avoidance for like all of those traffic cars that I wasn't expecting to 
Oh, I wasn't expecting to avoid all of them, but I did, and I was proud of myself. Oh, gee. Uh, woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There it is. There she goes. About to get the... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that was one of those times where you're just like, oh. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll have to, like, gloss over that one. But, like, I mean, we've been stringing some good combos together. It's just, like... Partially, it's the traffic, and you feel like you can't get, like, the exact flow going that you want. And partially, it's, like, the getting used to the car. But, like, honestly, you get used to this car pretty freaking fast. I mean, it is it is a blast to drive. I genuinely love it. I mean, just look at it. It's just so crazy. It's just so freaking crazy. And honestly... I, I'm definitely planning on spending more time with it. But if you guys enjoyed this build, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.